Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this week's episode, we drink Death from Above, a fruited imperial sour. Uh, it's from Trim Tab Brewing. And that's our second beer from them. And then we go over Ronnie Coleman showing up to our gym. Uh, two gym bros squatting and how funny I thought it was. And what else did we go over, bud? Anything? That's it. Enjoy the episode, guys. What are we drinking today? Let's today. come right out. Today we have. Oh, yeah. I get my own today because we got a four pack. We yeah. have. I remember last time we had this brewery. I, I had a really pro, uh, a, a bad problem. Remember Trim Tab. Yes. That was the, uh, was the granola. And it did taste the, like granola. That was one of the worst IPAs we've yes. ever had. These guys are pro uh, environment. Yes. They a bunch of hippies. Mm-hmm. So this is Death from Above. It is a fruited imperial sour ale. Okay. Oh, that got a good looking color to it. Yeah, I, I poured a little bit just to see how she was gonna if she was gonna bubble up on us or not. Cause I remember that IPA that we got last time from them. Yeah. Mine like a steel trap, and that thing came flying up. And this is made with coconut milk, cherry, blueberry, and raspberry. The can, oh, it's kind of, kind of cool. It's very colorful, yeah, cartoonish. This would catch my eye in a grocery store. Yeah, that yellow, yellow usually attracts people's eyes. Mm-hmm. But because it is can, I looked at it and read it, and that's the reason I bought it down in Thibodeau at Rouse's. Seven point four percent. There's your imperial. Yeah, dude. They, they. Honestly, if I would have read coconut milk, now that now that I know what I know from the last one, yeesh. But I'm already, I'm ready to go. Ah, it's too late. We Death from ready. above and like a toucan on there. That's a, that's a scary toucan. Watch for fallen objects. So I'm guessing that coconut falling out the tree or something is what they're saying. Not much smell to it. I'm just getting a little bit of sour smell. A little fruited sour. These are the guys that were all about, hey, man, recycle. We made this place because we wanted to make something fresh and new and hippies. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say it ain't much going on with it. You can taste the fruit, and it's a little sour. That's about it. That's this brewery is very boring. <laughs> hey, man. like You could pile on these things. Yeah. They're, I mean, it's it's a little more flavor than water. Yeah, you could very much pile on these things. My pre-workout <laughs> has more flavor than this. <laughs> and it's just a little bit of powder. So, honestly. It's not bad. But there is, like, you're not writing home about this. No. You're, you're, and it is hard to believe that that's over 7%. I mean, that'll trash your ass out if you're not careful yeah. you drink all four of those at seven percent you're gonna be i guess i need to rethink this it's over seven percent that's a decent amount of alcohol for a, any beverage there's four of them they're tall boys okay so honestly, this might not be as bad as i wanted to think it was it's a fruited sour ale uh-huh not much. I mean, you could taste a little bit of fruit and the sourness to it. Yeah. But there's no coconut milk coming through. Good. I don't don't taste the sweetness of the cherries. Oh yeah, there's cherries. If cherries anything, maybe they may a little just raspberry. Use it for the color. Yeah, maybe a little raspberry. No blueberry. I don't. Dude, this is right up seltzer world. This is seltzery to me, for sure. Now that you see it, yeah. This is like, this is your world. You yes. should love this. I could drink these. That's why you were like, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming from the beer side of things, you know. And, and like, yeah. But now that I think, let, let, let's do the marketing for them. Imperial Sour My Ass. This is Imperial Seltzer. And they probably could make a sale. Because it's even got like fancy colors and stuff. I mean, let's get into a good topic. The man, the legend, has been roaming the halls at Alpha Land, and I, I haven't that. seen him 
and our boy Max saw him and took a picture. And I actually texted him this morning, and this happened last week, and I was like, I'm still jealous that you saw that man. Well, that was like last Friday, wasn't it? Man, what, was he only there for one day? I'm pretty sure. I guess we should tell everybody who it was. I mean, is he your mentor? He is the greatest bodybuilder to ever live. And what's his name? Ronnie Coleman. Yes. Dude, I saw him in a random picture, and I recognized the background of the gym he was in. Yeah. And I was like, no. So, of course, I started. I clicked a little few little spots. Lo and behold, the man himself is in Alpha Land. He's with some dweeb dude. I'm wondering what... He must have had a meeting in Houston or something because he's right there at, at, in Dallas-Fort Worth area. Yeah. I mean, his home gym is the original Metro Flex. Dude. So, so another great Houston guy, James Harden, he's... Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. he No, went. he's work. Apparently, he's now, like, I guess a buddy of mine follows him on TikTok. Okay. I think this is, like, he's in town quite a bit right now. I think he's a part owner in the Dynamo or something like that, he said. Okay. And so, he's using this place as his workout place. Like, he's working out there, and ah. then he's playing basketball afterwards. Hmm. So, the James Harden is roaming the halls. Uh-huh. I mean, shit, dude. That place is... It's kind of cool to wear, say you work out there. Like I mean, I, I saw know. I saw that Bradley Martin was there this week too. I would have loved to seen him too. His story is funny. You know more about his his. Dude, I saw background. him at the at the oh, no, he, 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 Yeah, he's a nah. Hey, what did you say to him? <laughs> what did you say to him? All I did was ask him where his boy Dom was, and he doesn't Bro like his life, and he doesn't like that. They boys. They do all kind of videos. But together. he didn't seem to like it when you asked no, him. No, because he uh, and, and him and his entourage just rolled out because the whole time I was there, like, hey Bradley, what's happening? You know, gave him the, the dude slap, yeah. you know. And the whole time he's just looking around in my hands, looking for the camera, looking for the camera. Oh. And I just finally looked at him and said, Where your boy Dom at? And he looks at me, does like this and him and his little entourage <laughs> just throw him off like he just wanted to be the he wanted to be the man in the moment. Yeah, he wanted a picture. I don't want a fucking picture. Uh, well, yeah, we're gen we're a different generation. Yeah, I don't but that, care. That leads me to the point of what I was telling you. I would have wanted a picture with Ronnie Coleman. Mm -hmm. I, I really i I have seen some celebrities. James Harden. I wouldn't want. I, I if I was asked or if it was easy to obtain. Okay, I would take a picture. I would go out of my way for Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, I really would. And. Not an embarrassing fashion, but I I would actually approach that man and ask for a photo. I can't remember if it was at the Arnold or the Olympia, but he passed in his wheelchair. We were watching a show, and mm -hmm. he passed in his wheelchair. And we, you know, so it was happening, Ronnie, and we shook hands, but I've never taken a picture I think that him. was with us at the uh, that was at the Arnold, Arnold. Arnold. But I was getting a drink, so I missed it. Ah. I think I came back, and you, that's what you told me. If I remember right, but yeah, getting wheeled around for <sighs> dude, pull some bitch can't walk. That his guy hips are is shot. a fucking monster. If yeah. you know nothing about us or bodybuilding or anything, you can easily just look yeah. that dude up. You can YouTube that man, and it'll take you down a deep journey of excellence, yep. top notch, ass kicking excellence in the bodybuilding world, dude. Every professional bodybuilder has the same. Thing they say about that man, the greatest ever lived. Yeah, greatest. It might be the greatest. Him and Arnold, I guess, are the two. I think Arnold it, because he was the first. Well, they big time guy. Arnold for what he did for the sport. Yeah, Ronnie Coleman by far superior genetics and greatest yeah. to ever bodybuild. Nobody could stand. I guess you could say him. he stood on Arnold's shoulders in a sense. Like, well, without the foundation was there. With no him. Arnold, they wouldn't be no bodybuilding yeah. in today's society. Yeah. I well, guess I want to put that to where anybody watching can yeah. kind of, because everybody thinks Arnold, but this dude go, yeah. I, I'd like yeah. to see them beside each other because when you see just how big Ronnie Coleman was, nobody could stand next to him. It's, it's yeah. unreal. Arnold, Arnold would have looked like a child next to Ronnie Coleman. He looks Ronnie like Coleman turned pro naturally. Yeah, and realized that it wasn't going to be one going to win. One, when he was competing naturally in the <laughs> pro ranks, he wasn't doing that good, and he got introduced to it. But 
his interview on Rogan's good. He talks about he's he's very wide open. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I, I I realized that I couldn't win. These guys yeah. were just getting bigger and bigger than me, and, and it's I can't sauce. remember what it was. Flex or uh, Kevin LeBron is the one that introduced him to it, and after that, I mean, <laughs> he looks like a car with muscles just walking <laughs> down the street. Uh, so all right, let's get back to this real quick. Now I got another topic. Uh, anything sticking out to you? This thing. Just I'm a, just it's a very little sour. To me. Just a little sour, but that's it. It's a little sour, a little fruity, very to the point. There ain't no lingering effect from it. It's not gonna like. No, it 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 fades away relatively quick. Yeah. So would you would you buy and drink this again? I I feel like this is a seltzer thing for you. I feel like these two right here are gonna be drank. They're gonna be in your refrigerator, and you're gonna hit them. Oh yeah. Later on. Yeah. So, but would you rebuy that four pack? I don't know if I'll ever see it. If I see it again, I probably yeah. I'll probably pick it up. It is. I feel like this is a seltzer with a lot. It's not five percent seltzer. It's seven point one percent seltzer, which I I look at this as if you want to introduce somebody into a different type of beer. Mm-hmm. I think this would be an easy one to introduce them to. You, you know what I'm saying? People that don't drink craft beer, all they drink is cool as light. How you could introduce them to that, and they, dude. This, can, I don't even think this is craft beer anymore. I think they, these fuckers put on their ale knowing damn well that this is a uh, seltzer. But you know you can't take a son bitch who all he drink is cool as light oh, and, no. and give him a fucking double IPA God, and he's going to enjoy it. You. Exactly. Oh, man, a fucking bitch in that Exactly. Out. All right, I got one thing to say. So I'm sitting there Hang dying on. in squat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let's go over uh, Let's go over the sponsor. You can tell please. I was about to get passionate about what I saw today. Today's sponsor brought to you by... Pringles. Is this scorching again? Yes. These motherfuckers are trying to burn but my this mouth. Is, this is the loaded nacho. Which is good. Have you ever had these before? I think you had them. You brought nah, them. I don't think they so. They sent huh? them to us already, I thought. I don't think they did, huh? What was the other ones then? The loaded something? I don't was know. Was loaded mashed potatoes? Like loaded tacos or some shit. It I don't know. Be, man, these are good, but Jesus, dude. <laughs> I'm such a sissy when it comes to the hot stuff. It's a great flavor. Right out of the gate, you can taste them. <laughs> right out of the gate, I could feel that red powder shooting down the back of my throat. Nah, it ain't not that hot. No. All right, so this whole entire influencer thing, Max Chewing has got these fucking dumbasses like on a chain and just like a circus. Dance, little monkey, dance. These two guys come walking up, cameras rolling, bust open their sour strips, fucking like a wa- like dip, looking like dip from the earth, like, like 90s. A chew? Yeah. Like the uh, big league chew? Oh, yeah, opening it up, and then pulling my strips, packing them in, packing them in, pounding their 3D energies. <sighs> this is the most disappointed in human race I've ever been in a squatting rack area. Which got me thinking, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking do this. I'm walking in with fucking Chew. I'm talking about the most <laughs> gaudy looking, what's that, Indian Chief or whatever? Big Chief? What's the bag of Chew? Like Red the, Man. That's what I'm walking in with Red Man, and I'm going to You got to get the green pouch, though. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm, I'm, this is happening at Alpha Land. I don't care if it's illegal. They can just carry me out. I'll go yeah. to another gym. You going to bring a 10K bottle to spit I'm, into? Yeah, I'm going to be just completely <laughs> obnoxious about it, and then I'm going to bring in a beer. I don't even care anymore. I'm going to squat on a Saturday. I, I might. You might have to come that weekend because I'm going to need somebody to film this. I'm legit going to do it because that's what they look. It looks like the wannabe. I remember being young and I was the youngest in this group. Mm -hmm. These are all high school age kids in my neighborhood. And I was I was called little Chris. There was big Chris who was way older than me. And I was little Chris and I was like their token kid. They just bring with me everywhere. So we rode up to the little baseball diamond and trucks and everything in the back of the truck. And they they got their first chew. I, I remember this very vividly. And they're all trying it for the first time. And I remember one of the guys, I guess he swallowed some. He was over there like, oh, throwing puking up. it, throwing, throwing it up. up. Yeah, yeah. That really happened. That's not a made-up story. And all of them, though, like, ooh, lightheaded and just all this. Mm-hmm. 
And now we're to just sour sh- strips. The the man in a bag is gone. Don't worry, they got a display at the other gym. Oh, they got it at they yours go- too. Oh yeah, they got a. Uh, this boy Max the- chewing is killing it. By the counter, your badge in, and there, there's two little sour strip things of, of the strips. What if what if we just sold our own chewy tobacco and put it right beside it? Live big. <laughs> Use the high off the tobacco. Man, they had an old boy deadlift in the day, and I look at a deadlift platform, and he obviously bought the strips at the front counter up there. I got the strip open. I mean, I, I don't know why you're going to – that ain't going to do nothing for you. I mean, maybe it's carbs. I mean, it'll, but it's not like some instantaneous right. boost in power where you're going to exactly. start pulling 10, 10 more pounds or something. Eat breakfast before you come. Your muscles are going to use the energy that's in the muscle. Yeah. Not what your body is digesting because if you eat something, yeah. The reason you get nauseated if you go try to exercise because it pulls the blood away. Yeah. Until your muscles and you're not digesting, that's what gives you the nausea feeling. Hey, repeat that. This is the most knowledgeable thing that has been said on this podcast to date. Repeat that. For those that have that feeling. Yeah, you dumb fucks that <laughs> you eat, then go to the gym, and your food is not digested, uh-huh. and you start exercising. The reason you feel nauseated is because the blood leaves your belly region. Uh-huh. And goes into your muscles whenever you start using your muscles. Uh-huh. So now you, there's no digesting. There's going no on digesting anymore. anymore. So now you feel fucking nauseated. So pounding them sour strips, yeah, with that sugar rush of fucking energy drink. So now you just got a bunch of sugar in your belly. Yeah, and it can't digest it because yeah. you're fucking working out, and you're not getting no energy because you're not digesting it. Oh man, that's why you need proper Science. nutrition and and fluids. The day before. This is probably the most in-depth shit we've ever talked about. Now, we've talked about some good stuff, but that's that, that makes complete sense. Now, how do you think me just mouthwaz of chewing tobacco and uh, pounding a brewski at the same time? I think lightheadedness is going to come. <sighs> yeah, and it's hot as fuck outside yeah. out there. Definitely. Yeah, I may need you to spot me, so if I pass out... But at least we'll get it on camera. Yeah. We're doing it. Like I'm, I've made up in my mind. I, I don't know if thought you need about to chew. We could do the beer. I don't know if no, you need to chew. chew. Nah, I don't think it's you need to gotta chew. It's got to happen, dude. But it's got to happen. That's a disgusting habit, though. I'm not going to pick that up. No, that's, I understand that. But No, nah, i got to keep you away from it. Yeah, I'll throw it away uh, for you. It's still disgusting. It is, but it's fucking funny. It needs to be done. I'm going to walk up to these fucks. Hopefully the same two are going to be there pulling out their sour strips. I'll be like, oh, get this in you, boys. <laughs> like, you know, like you old time. of good shit. Yeah. <laughs> this, will get, this will add 15 See, pounds. Sonny, in my day, back in my day when I was your age, this is what I'm, I was doing. I'm not a big guy that's going to judge on form and stuff. Like, I'll turn away because I don't want to watch somebody get hurt. But they were doing all of that. They had the shirts. They had the... The, you know, the Sour Patch and the 3D drinks and the, all this stuff. And they had some of the shittiest squat form in their videos they were making. Didn't go below parallel, almost fell forward. Oh, like, dude, I think y'all are focusing on the wrong shit, man. Uh, bro, with the right camera angles, that squat probably looks fun- phenomenal. It, 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 <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I watched it. There's no, there, it was like a good there three, no four inches get, huh? above parallel and was straight. He, Ego lifted it. It was not good. Knees were, you know, his his uh, shins were straight up. He was not going to get into a good position. It, it wasn't good. So he was doing a high box squat. Yeah. And all all for the Instagram video and it with all the excess shit. And it just wasn't going to play out. Did he have knee sleeves on? I don't think so. Damn. No. He, he I was, figured somebody I like that would have I think he was just missing, sleeves. like, dude, y'all are focusing on the wrong mm-hmm. shit, dude. Y'all are focusing on TikTok and all that. I mean, it's all, in this day and age, worth it. The TikTok and all that stuff, these kids, some of these kids are making a decent amount of money, a lot of money. Some it's aren't. It's flooded with these but dude, fitness fucks. why not focus on your squat? Like, why not focus on good form? And then that... Say you get both. You got great form and you make it big on TikTok. It's probably going to be a little bit better for you in the end. 
maybe he was trying to show off like a wrong form video. Like, hey, man, like this is what you don't do. What if he was doing exactly what I want to do and making fun of these people <laughs> and I'm judging him. But he was actually making a video, making fun of like the sour stripe and 3D thing. But yeah, I, I, I'm, we're going to do this. I'm going to go get some some dip, some chew. I'm going to put a big wad in my mouth and just go for it. I want fucking You know that's going to be too. fucking disgusting. Oh, huh? I know. It's going to be miserable. That's going to be And it, we disgusting. still need to do the ammonia thing, too, because I no, haven't done I it. I am not fucking I'm sniffing ammonia. I'm going to do it. No. I've never done it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to lift. It's going to be like fight or flight. I'm either going to, like, die, safety rack engaged. <laughs> Talk about safety rack. <laughs> I watched the old boy bury himself today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't think he was going to fail you. He just had too much weight on there. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, he pulled it off the rig and just back, backed well, up. When, <laughs> boom. when I saw him, he just went down. and. Did he get one rep, or is it just like? When I saw him, his, his, his woman was backing away, and he just kind of. <laughs> at least she backed away. Well, they were kids, I think. Dude, I saw I a video the other day. Show off, really. I saw a video the other day. This dude asked a lady to spot him. And he he dumped the barbell backwards and hurt him. Yeah, I think it broke her wrist or something like. Because he was oh, box he dumped squatting it, too. Dumped it to the ground. He was box squatting. So yeah, it's not good to have somebody behind you. Right. She's behind him, goes to kind of help him. He dumps it. Mm-hmm. She's standing over the box. Where is she going? Down with the barbell, and the barbell met the box with her arm under it, I think. And I think it wrecked her. It didn't look good, dude. I was like, Poof. the comment section was eating that guy alive. Good. Hopefully, he's uh, when I went, lesson. When I went to Super Dave's mm-hmm. during, during that bullshit pandemic, yeah. we were box squatting. I fell fall over with the weight. Oof. Yeah. Ouch. I forgot who it was. They tried catching. I it just couldn't. <laughs> Let me yeah, go. You just, just watch out, Ham. Just just move out the way. See, that's why that low bar squat to me like makes me nervous, because it will force you. Like it's a little harder for me, for me, mm-hmm. and I think other people, but for me, we'll say me to dump a barbell off my back if I'm low barring it. High bar, and I can kind of do that little like little hop forward, and it just falls. Yeah, but low bar, the shit's halfway there. <laughs> you just let I, it roll off. Man, but I don't. There's something about having my ah. arms and my back. I can't low bar. I've tried it. It creeps me out. Low bar's for sissies, anyways. You get more respect when you're high barring it. Low bar builds a big ass. That's my, my, my glutes are getting bigger, though. I think. I'd like to think they are. I don't look at them, but I like to. I put my pants on now, and I'm like, ooh, there's something back there. I seen this video. <laughs> They're make it's a it's a funny video, mm-hmm. and they pack this dude's like ass cheeks like with a bunch of shit in his pants to make it look like he had a huge ass. He was already like kind of a bodybuilder, kind of mm-hmm. big guy, and they put him on a gurney face down. So his ass, like I mean it's obnoxiously huge, and they go rushing him through this crowd like he's hurt, you know like passed out unconscious or something on a gurney. And everybody's looking at this big ass fucker coming through on a gurney. It, it was a, I was like, why didn't I think about that? I would have loved to have been in that video. It was hilarious. Could you imagine? And it said something about like this dude passed out doing leg day or something like that. This obnoxious ass. You don't think that's funny? I think that's absolutely hilarious. If I saw that in real life, I would start crying like I'm crying now. I laugh at some dumb shit. You just like big asses. It, it, it was obnoxiously mm. huge, though. It was like stupid huge, like a like a pot under on his ass. Yeah, it's funny. Anything else? I mean, dude, I, we can go, but hey, well, fuck. I think we're trying to keep it under 25 today, huh? Yeah. We got one minute. Hey, we got a new shirt. Bud, you killed it. This is, uh, this is the hardest shirt you've ever done? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. And the funnest. It, it is on sale now. Yes, it is. And uh, the artist <laughs> killed it. Yes. Was it Neon neon Thrash? Neon Trash. Trash. I always want to say Thrash. Ah, it's Trash. I've been watching a lot of like uh, skateboard videos, and it's always Thrash. And thrash. Then I, I'm, like, I'm like, oh. Yeah. I can. It, it's one of those things where I can't ever remember. But yeah, he's awesome, dude. Go yeah. Check he, his stuff out. His artwork came out good, and Hell he yeah. knows how to layer everything where we could print it. So. Deadlift Defiler. 
Yeah. There'll, there'll be some stuff. And not, not to mention, there is a discount code. So if you made it this far into the video, it's at the bottom of this video. Yeah. It's oh. on every video, but yeah, nobody no, ever nobody uses is. it. <laughs> Maybe it's because we've never <laughs> talked about it. But oh, anywho. nobody reads the description. Shit. One way or the other. But anywho, cheers, huh? Cheers, guys. Y'all have a good week. Buy the shirt. <laughs> you finished it. <laughs>